I'm doing quite well. I'm uh, building my condition back up and it feels good to be on the bike and uh, yeah, to really live like a professional cyclist again. With most of the guys, the contract contact has grown more strong and you really feel the connection. Uh, we always say we are the wolf pack and everybody treats each other like family, but when something happens to somebody like that, you can really feel that yeah, it grips everybody and pulls us together and everybody has supported me on my way back. Uh, same, yeah, same goes for my family, of course, at home, but the team is my second family and I love to spend time with them and everybody has taken care of me. So. I saw some guys for the first time since the crash. Uh, same goes for all of the staff, uh, because it's been a difficult period with COVID, of course. But it was really nice to see them and emotionally quite touching, also for me, but I think also for the others. And yeah, then to be able to do a couple of days of training in, in my training group and to spend time with them at the dinner table, it's just makes the normal, simple things really special and yeah, I enjoyed it a lot in December. Uh, my family has been yeah, my fundament at home, like the, the basis where everything is built on. And uh, when I came back from Poland, of course, I was not in, even in state to take care of myself. So my family has done that for me and yeah, they did. They are everything to me. They are in my heart, and it's it's really special also for them. I think to to see a, a son or a brother or a, a family member come back like that, and that they could make it happen. Also, they invested a lot of time in me, and I will be forever grateful to them for the work they did for me. So yes, yes, of course. I watched. I think I watched all of the races. Um, it was really. Nice to see the team start from the beginning really well, of course with Ballarini and then after with, with all the other guys that won and it's been amazing to see how they can, can you know, still perform and it motivates me to be able to come back with them. Every time when somebody wins you send them a message and then I get the message back. You know, yeah, one day we're going to win together again and, and I say, yeah, I look forward to that. So, uh, yeah, I, I've watched all the races and I'm really proud to be in this team. Yeah, well, it's not easy, but I guess it's not easy for everybody. Everybody, you know, gets bumps in his life or big mountains or in my case, it was a crash. Some people get sick. And I think it's Im important that you surround yourself with people that can help you. I'm lucky to be in, a, in, in this team and in a good family. And mentally, you know, you have to do it yourself. But it's nice that people help a little bit. And the thing I always put in my mind is one day it'll become a little bit better. And maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. But in the end, if I quit, then I, I won't get there. So I just keep focusing on the future and go day by day. What's the thing I can do today to help my recovery or to become healthier or to, to rest, of course. Because in the end, it's, a, it's been a process of at least half a year. And uh, yeah, it's, it's mentally it, it was hard. But now when I you know, get towards the end of the rehabilitation, you notice that also to get through those things, it makes you stronger. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been hard, but I think I'm doing quite all right and I'm really happy for that. Yeah, it changed my view for sure. Uh, like I said, the, the small things, the simple things, uh, spending time with family, spending time with my teammates on training camp, talking with the staff, uh, being able to ride my bike, which is, for some people, a thing they don't like. For me, it's the most amazing thing again. Uh, after spending more than a week in a hospital bed, unable to move, and then to be able to now start racing again, yeah, it's, it's, 
the deepest valley to the biggest high of, of my career, so yeah, I really look forward. Well, I've, now I feel quite okay. I'm, uh, of course, excited, a little bit nervous. It's going to be the first time I'm going to be back in the bunch. Uh, first time again out of the country, which is all quite big things for me. Um, but yeah, I look forward and even though I'm a little bit scared, I still want to do it because I enjoy it so much and yeah, I just want to do what I like to do. Let's race. I've already reached a goal with coming back to racing and then the next goal will be to hopefully raise my arms again somewhere to win a race. But I think the, the biggest achievement is, is that even after what happened, that I, st I still enjoy doing it, still happy to race, I look forward to it, and I hope that stays the same. And that at the end of the year, that I can say that, you know, the level I was on before the crash, I think I can see it and I can reach it. And uh, maybe it's not for this year yet, but then hopefully for 2022, or 2023, that's uh, the spot on the horizon where I'd like to go. But like you said, it's day by day, every day you do your training and hopefully I'll get there. There's a couple of sprint stages, which is also nice for me and no enormous mountain stages. So I think it's a good race to start again and to use it as a preparation for the rest of the season and the rest of my career, because in the end I'm still on the way back and hopefully able to come back to the form I had before. But it will take some, some more time, so I don't think I'll go there as, a, as the favorite or the stage winning sprinter, but I just want to finish the seven, eight days of racing and then hopefully improve after that.